Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to talk about fighting the Human Torch in uncollected mode. Now, you can see the active buffs that you're going to have to deal with, but that's not what's really going to get you with the Human Torch. It's his abilities. At least, that was the case with me. So let's take a look at his abilities. Now, I'm not going to read through these, but I am going to highlight a very important one. Alright, so his passives, he's immune to incinerate, cold snap, frostbite. Okay, so don't bother bringing any champions in here that rely on uh, those types of attacks. Alright, um, the flame on ability, that's important, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. His temperature what you need to take away from this is when his temperature gets too high you don't want to hit him okay that's pretty much the bottom line that is what wrecked me many times okay so incinerate obviously he's an incinerate uh, based champion so he does a lot of incinerates so I thought Havoc would be the perfect counter for Human Torch Havoc is incinerate immune Okay, as I was reading some of his attacks, his attacks do energy damage. Well, Havoc is highly resistant to energy. But here is the important part right here. When blocking or attacked, okay, if the hit dealt energy damage, temperature increases by 5 and Human Torch smolders. All attacks from Mystic Champions are considered as energy attacks towards this ability. What that means is that Havoc, who does energy-based attacks, is going to raise his temperature every time he hits him and does energy damage, which is every time he hits him, his temperature is going to increase by 5. Now you read what happens to his temperature above. And increasing by 5, it doesn't take very long for Human Torch to go flame on and well you're gonna see what happened to Havoc but this is why Havoc is not a good option for Human Torch as I thought he might be early on and Mystic Champions I wouldn't bring a Mystic Champion so Starkey seemed to do very well uh, Corvus also is a great option for him uh, Void is a good option as well. All right, so let's see what happens to Havoc. So my basic strategy was to build up prowess by firing off my heavies, okay? Once I got the prowess up, I wanted to get to his special three and then just wreck Human Torch. But in several attempts, I wasn't able to get to Havoc's special three, and you'll see here. Now, his temperature went up to 20 very quickly. Now he is at max temperature and it is flame on. Okay? Now, I want you to see what happens next when I actually make contact with Human Torch when his temperature is at max and he is flame on. Alright, so you see that debuff right there? That is what happens when you hit him. And if you're not paying attention and you hit him repeatedly, that stacks up. And it basically wrecks you. All right, so let's see what happens. Notice how they are stacking up. And look at my health just draining away. I've got a special two. I want to get to a special three. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Now, in several attempts, I never got a one-shot with Havoc. I got close. So, let's see what Starkey can do. Now, first off, when you get used to his animations, it becomes easier to build up poise charges. But notice that as I'm hitting him, his temperature is nice and low. That is where we want it. He's not about to go flame on anytime soon. And fighting him with Starkey proved to be pretty simple and easy. Okay, so 
He is who I would recommend if you have him. Void, Corvus, both good options. Okay? So, that's going to do it. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you guys have a blessed day.